Okay, everybody, we're back with, I believe, part three of our guide to uh, unlock and, uh, um, you know, load load the new clockwork mod, and, and now we're going to upgrade a 2.3.4 gingerbread. Yay, jazz hands. So, um, what we've done here is, uh, first and foremost, um, like I've said in the past, um, you're probably going to want an XDA developer's account, so if you haven't done so, go there and uh, sign yourself up and go ahead and locate the um, Atrix forums, um, specifically the development form, because that's where you're going to find all of your ROMs. Um, Myself in particular, and, oh, and by the way, keeping in mind, a lot of the ROMs right now are, um, you, you can find stock ROMs so that you can have it exactly as AT&T intended or your specific carrier intended. Nobody wants that, though. It comes with a bunch of bloatware, and, and the whole point of doing all this to begin with is to load ROMs um, that have been modified and have all the bloatware removed, and it has the speed and quicky, quickness and quickiness, huh? uh, quickness of gingerbread, um, as well as a lot of tweaks and modifications and speed hacks that um, the developers have actually included in the ROMs themselves. So um, you're going to kind of want to go and um, pick a ROM that you that that, that best suits you. Um, keeping in mind, a lot of the um, quote unquote custom ROMs right now are um, um, they're in beta and alpha. Um, I seem to find myself loading a lot of alpha ROMs. Um, you know, some of them got some issues, so I do read through the comments to make sure that it doesn't have too many bugs um, for me, uh, you know, to use on a daily basis. So um, the particular ROM I decided to choose this time was a new one by a, a guy who's not a developer. He's just really good and handy with, um, with uh, I guess, um, um, putting together a bunch of packages and, and ROM stuff. So anyways, um, uh, his name is Ronald, um, Ronald9, I believe, uh, on XDA, and um, uh, he created a new ROM based off of Kenneth Penn, um, uh, new Alien ROM, um, which has a bunch of hacks and tweaks and all kinds of good stuff. So I decided to give it a trial. I actually have it on my own personal uh, phone. Is this all? There we go. Um, which is um, it looks like a lot. Which is exactly like this. Um, Kenneth Penn's uh, ROM, the Alien ROM that he built, um, is still in beta version. I think it's beta number two right now, um, and it's got a lot of green stuff. Um, I just wanted something a little more basic with a lot of the hacks. So this is actually an AT&T ROM. So if you're an international user, don't fret. You can load AT&T ROMs. They always say not for international use. Blah blah blah. blah. Well, it's because the developer doesn't necessarily support it, but um, you can actually load these AT&T ROMs right onto our international phones now that the bootloader is unlocked. You can virtually do anything you bloody well please. Um, so, uh, yeah, screw you, Motorola, right? Um, anyways, so, uh, I decided to choose his ROM, and, um, this is what it looks like, you know, you got fancy things, everything is just a little bit quicker, there's speed hacks and blah, 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 so, uh, anyways, moving on. Um, so, what you want to do is, uh, you're going to have to put, um, the, uh, the ROM onto the root of your SD card, so how we do that is um, you're going to unlock your phone there, go down there, keeping in mind you're going to want USB debugging and uh, um, you know uh, unknown sources checked in your applications settings when you click settings and blah blah blah, blah. I already showed you how to do that. So uh, USB connection right now, uh, we go down to USB mass storage, hit OK, um, your phone's going to connect and talk to your computer, blah 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 blah. Once that's all done, um, you should go to your my computer, um, I'm going to go ahead and refresh this because I just put all the stuff in there. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and um, open up your SD card. And um, you're going to select, which I already have on my desktop, the, um, the zip files. Now, we're not extracting the zip files. You're just placing them onto the SD card. I also went ahead and um, downloaded an overclock kernel. The kernel is what is basically the heart of your... Um, of, of your ROM and it uh, basically tells things how to do it and how fast to do it and the whole nine yards and a, and a bunch of other stuff so um, I'm putting both of those onto um, my SD card as you can see and um, the over the, your your ROMs themselves will be like anywhere between 150 to shoot 300 something megabytes so um, yeah the overclock or your kernel as it were is usually around the three megabyte range okay um, there's a lot of kernels. I'm not going to link anything in the description box for you guys because, um, you know, unless you're at least comfortable enough with flashing and, and, and doing backups and things like that, um, you might want to just kind of stay with whatever kernel it gives you. Um, 
However, there are some RAM issues with international phones, which I'll get into in a minute um, uh, once we reboot and everything like that. But anyway, so bottom line is all this stuff's on, on your SD card. So we're going to go ahead now and um, back out of there. I'm going to go ahead and click eject on that and eject on that. Okay. Now... Whoop, I don't want to stare at that greasy shit. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and unplug the phone. Okay, it's going to do its thing. Just wait for it to stop talking to itself. Stupid phone. All right, now we're going to go ahead and power the phone off. All right. So now we're going to get back into and, and, and get into the same menu the same way we uh, got into fast boot. Remember, you're going to power and volume down, and we're holding. There we go. Now, instead of clicking up, you're actually going to click down on the volume, and we're going to navigate right down to Android Recovery. And then, of course, you're going to press volume up again as the enter key, basically. Entering Android Recovery Mode. Now, if all went well with the last video we did... Oh, shoot. Okay. That's not good. All right. I'll uh, have to cut the video, <laughs> and uh, I'll tell you guys what went wrong and, and how to fix it. Okay, everyone. So I figured out what the problem was. Um, what you need to do if you if you if you're starting from fresh, um, you probably starting from fresh as in like you, you know maybe you just rooted your phone but you haven't loaded any PROMs or you, and you haven't loaded specifically um, the old version of Clockwork Mod, um, you probably won't run into that issue that you just did. If you did run into that issue, it's because what we need to do is uh, delete the old recovery image. Um, and how we go about doing that, oh, and by the way, if you're still staring at that, um, that screen with the uh, Android guy and the exclamation mark, uh, all you need to do while it's there is just swipe across the bottom from left to right on the bottom of your screen, because your screen is still touch screen, believe it or not, and then it'll open up the stock Android recovery. Um, the first one that will be highlighted, the first option that will be highlighted will be reboot phone now. Um, so you don't need to go up and down and select it. And um, all you got to do, and there'll be a little OK button at the corner once you get into that stock uh, recovery. And it's a little bit hard because it looks like their little their their touch points are very weak on there. So you just kind of hit the OK button. You might have to hit it about 14 times until it finally goes through. But as soon as you get it, um, you'll see it'll say rebooting phone now, and it'll have a bunch of dots and it'll reboot your phone. Once your phone's rebooted and you get back into that, what we have to do is. Um, um, what you're going to do is reflash the um, unlock SPF, your pudding file that you've downloaded. So you're going to go back and do place your phone back in RSD mode by holding power and up, you know, RSD, uh, RSD light on the computer, and then just uh, reflash that, um, uh, that unlock SBF that you downloaded earlier. Um, your phone will reboot. Once your phone reboots, what you're going to do is, and I've tried every other way with uh, the different file managers out there, you're going to need to download a root explorer from the market. Um, again, this is only if you've run into the same issue that I just ran into, okay? You're going to need to download the, uh, an app called Root Explorer from the Android market. Um, and uh, the, no, no other um, Root Explorer um, uh, or, or, sorry, uh, File Explorer works the way this one does. And um, it'll look like that, Root Explorer. So we're going to go ahead and, and it costs $3.25, but you know what? Um, I've actually, this is the first time I ever purchased this because I've never run into that bad of a problem before, but um, um, I was looking through it. I've been sitting here for about an hour and a half screwing around how to, f trying to figure out how to rectify the problem that we just had there. Um, and uh, uh, so anyways, um, it, 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 very, very detail oriented and, and it, it's an awesome app. Anyways, um, I'm rambling, so we're going to go ahead and jump in there. What you need to do is you're going to open up Root Explorer like we are here and then um, we're gonna go ahead and scroll down in the first menu here down to system okay once the system you're gonna scroll and look for um, ETC and then once you're in ETC we're gonna scroll down and look for look for 
Oh, it's not in there because I've deleted it. I'll show you on the computer. Let me just bring it up here really quickly for you. Um, doo -doo -doo. Um, where was it? Anyways, it'll say, I remember what it says. Um, it'll look, it'll say uh, installation-recovery.sh. So you're going to locate the file in here called install dash recovery dot sh then um, you're gonna click on it and it's gonna say uh, you're gonna click and hold on it what we wanna do is delete it so you're gonna click and hold on it and hit the delete button um, it may say in the end there um, the file is read only that's fine you're gonna wanna click on this button at the top here if that happens mount rw mount re read and write okay read and write and you'll see it'll change there then what you're gonna do is go back down locate the install dash recovery dot sh and you're gonna press and hold and then a new menu will pop up and it'll say you'll see one of them being permissions you're gonna open up permissions and then you're gonna click all the boxes um, so every single box is checked off okay then you're gonna get out of there click OK or whatever and then you and then it'll work and then you'll be able to press and hold on the install dot uh, or sorry install dash recovery dot sh and go down to delete and you're going to want to delete it okay once it's deleted you can back out of there turn off your phone okay then you're going to boot into the fast boot mode by holding down the power button and the um, uh, down uh, volume key and uh, until you get into where it says fast boot you and then you're going to click up on the fast boot and um, and then uh, you're going to um, perform the uh, the the install. You know, uh, fast boot space flash space uh, recovery space recovery dot image, and then that'll flash and um, and then on your computer and all that stuff, and it'll do its fancy shit, and then you'll be good to go. I promise. And then you can even test it out by well, the next step in this video being um, uh, flashing the. Um, uh, 2.3.4 gingerbread so we're gonna go ahead and do that now and again if you guys have any problems with this guide um, shoot me a private message or an email and I'm more than happy to happy uh, more than happy to help you blah 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 and uh, and we'll go from there so I'm gonna turn this off here and we are going to power and volume down holding 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 um, sometimes I got confused in the past because the volume keys are so small. So sometimes when I hit uh, power and volume down, um, it actually ended up saying starting fast boot pr uh, protocol or RSD or whatever. Uh, it said fly, uh, starting RSD protocol. Sorry, <laughs> and uh, and so I got really pissed off. Didn't know what to do. All you do is just pull the battery out, put it back in. It's actually because you ended up screwing up, and they're really finicky, and it, it might have um, ended up getting out of um, the fast boot mode. So, anyways, now we're gonna in this menu, we're gonna go on down to Android Recovery, volume up on Android Recovery, entering Android Recovery mode, and you'll see the change that has happened. The new Clockwork mod, which is right here as you can see now because I have the um, files on uh, the the 2.3.4 files on my um, phone uh, external SD card already we're gonna go down to install zip from SD card press the power button for enter uh, choose zip from SD card down to external SD card and then I'm gonna go ahead and go down to um, actually before we do all this what we're going to do go back and we are going to create a backup so everybody knows how this is done okay and um, this is a fail safe so what we're gonna go do down to is backup and restore we want to I like to personally put my um, backups onto my external SD because when you're flashing it's gonna wipe your internal SD card so as a fail safe you want to keep it on your external I'm gonna say external and now I'm gonna click backup what this is going to do is back up everything that's on my phone right now the exact image of how my phone is right now um, it's 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 creating a backup of it so if you somehow fuck up um, as long as we can get back in Android recovery 
all then you can restore where it says backup and then the other one was restore you can just select restore and and it'll show you um, the different dates of different restores that you've done um, for me I usually only keep one restore point at a time um, so then you'd select that hit it and then broop, everything would be back to normal and the weight of the world would be lifted off your shoulders so I'm gonna cut this out because backing up is going to take a few minutes um, so give it a bit and uh, we'll come back once the uh, backup is done and, and continue installing the um, uh, gingerbread.